what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Can't hop out, then we clear What's up, y'all? Long time no see. It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. We have a very special guest in the building. Let them know who's here. <laughs> Hi, y'all. It's Brooklyn Frost. So before we get into it, let's really set it straight, because you're Brooklyn <laughs> Frost today, but I've seen Brooklyn Nicole also. Right. How do you choose like which one you're going to use to introduce yourself? Um, I'm going to go. I'm going with Brooklyn Frost now because it's other Brooklyn Nicoles, mm -hmm. and... As you know, I do music as well, so like when they try to search my name up, it's other Brooklyn Nicoles, but there's no Brooklyn Frost. Period. One so, of one. Right. One of one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm just trying to brand my name back to Brooklyn Frost. Okay. I hear you. I, I feel it. Yeah. So we're going to start off with a quick little game of rapid fire. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Just first thing that comes to mind, okay? Okay. Zodiac sign. Leo. Last thing you ate. A chopped cheese. Period. Now, hold on. <laughs> You had a chopped cheese, like, because you was in New York, obviously. Is that your first time? No. Okay. It was my first time with the, um, it was a different patty. I don't know what it's called. Mm. J the Jamaican patty. Oh, like a beef patty. Yes. It was Ooh, with that. How was that? It was really good. It was really good. Really? Where Shout did that out from? to Aki. Um, where oh, were it was we? Just like, it was just like a deli. No, no, no. It was, um... Aki way. Oh, here we can't forget the bag. Aki way Never, Dally. never, never. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, favorite song right now? I want you bad, bad. Okay. By, by um, Hancho. Mm. Um, if you were an animal, which one would you be? A lion. Leo. Yeah. <laughs> if you went on a road trip with three creators that you haven't made content with and can't be your family, who would you choose? Mmm... Three, do they have to be like YouTubers? No, they could just be like content creators. Okay, um, I don't know. No? I don't know. Okay, so you can include people who you make content with. Okay, um, no family? No family. Okay, okay. Because you're gonna name your mom and your two brothers. Um, <laughs> we could do the, the Johnson twins. Okay. Yeah, they seem really fun. I haven't did content with them. Exactly. And then, um, Carmen. Hmm. I okay. Like her. Yeah. That seems like it would be a vibe. Nice yeah. little girl trip. Yeah. Um, favorite thing about New York? How everybody kind of just stays to themselves. Mm hmm. They don't be, yeah. Okay. Least favorite food? Mm, I like everything. Really? Like, yeah. like, you don't have anything that you least, like? Least, but we're going to do least, um, probably mashed potatoes. Okay. But I try to eat them because I'm trying to get thick. I'm weak. <laughs> you want to get that rice and cabbage, sis. Um, love or money? Love of money? Love or money? Money. Because money will never leave. Love kind of, you know, if it's, un if it's not unconditional, mm -hmm. it'll go away. But who the fuck wants to be 70 and alone? That's what Drake said. Who does want to be 70 alone, but I'd rather be alone than... Broke. Yeah. I hear that, because I wouldn't want to be 70 and broke either. Yeah. Um, a celebrity that annoys you the most? I don't know. Okay, you want to keep it cute. <laughs> 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 All right, what's the word that people use to describe you that you disagree with? I'm a bop. Okay. And that's like the opposite of me. Okay, and we're going to get into that a little bit later. Um, if you had to choose someone to be with you every day for the rest of your life, who would you choose? I could say family? Yeah, you could say family. My mom. Oh, shout out to Mama Love. Um, your favorite TV show growing up? Everybody Hates Chris. Okay, and the last one, predict 2024 in one word. Achieving. Okay, I like that. You you and your voice wave, love that. Okay, so we have like three things in common. Mm -hmm. We both start with B's. What's, what's, my name is Bree. You're okay, Brooklyn. Okay. I'm a Brooklyn girl. Okay. And I don't know if you a bar, but I know that Nikki is in your top three. I saw that in one of your <laughs> interviews, unless it changed. No, she's in okay. my top three. So, real quick, we just got to touch on Pink Friday, too. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Because, like I said, I'm a barb. <laughs> I love talking about Nikki with other barbs. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts? I love it. Okay. I, she's really, like, snapped. I'm not going to lie. My she favorite one thing. is F the Club Up. Um, mm -hmm. The other one with the drill sound. 
the drill song. The drill song. And like, gang, you can let you slide. Oh, okay. Everybody, that's, that, you yeah. think that's drill? I think that's more of like kind of. No, okay. No? No. I'm probably, I'm probably wrong. I think that's more like Jersey, kind of. Jersey. There we mm-hmm. go. Nothing. Yeah, I'm tripping. Jersey. And um, I don't know the name of it, but... It's like what you. She's like, what you doing, Papa? And she. Um, oh, the intro. Are you gone yeah. already? Oh yeah, that was so that cute. Was, it was cute. I it's think my top sad. three is fuck the club up, um, let me calm down, and um, falling for you right now. Falling for you. But it's I like, like I don't know. Like this is really a good album, so it's really hard it is, it to is. like pick a top three. Um, so while we're talking about music, real quick. You've been on your music wave. Yeah. You've been doing your thing. Mm-hmm. You Love Me is a pop. <laughs> and not that kind of pop. I know. <laughs> I know we were just talking about that, but it really is a pop. You like it? I love it. Really? And I was, like, I was telling you off camera, like, I really like Butterfly, too. Mm-hmm. I like, like, your voice paired with, like, when you be riding a beat like that. Like, I really like that kind of show. Like, I'm a... R&B, like, melodic type mm-hmm. of girl. So, like, that's really, like, up my alley. Yeah. I feel like we put it on the floor. You did what you had. I mean, like, it was something that was kind of unexpected. Like, <laughs> you came right up the gate, pushed me up the pussy. I mean, I said, oh, okay, bro, got you. But, um, yeah, I really like that. So, how did you get into making music in the first place? Um, I was, like, 15. And I've always, like, loved to sing. Like, when I was younger, like, my mom has videos of me singing to my brothers, like, happy birthday and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I just tried it out and, like, tapped into my passion. And I dropped my first song, um, Know This About You, mm-hmm. back in 20... I think it was 2019. It did good, but, you know, that was my first song. That was my first single. Mm-hmm. Then I stopped doing music because I was just like, mm, I don't know. So I kept doing YouTube and then, like, last year, I tapped back into it. Okay. And how yeah. you feeling? I love it. I love music. Okay. So, I you think you're going to, like, ride it out? Yeah. Okay. I think that's my favorite. Because I see, like, now there's, like, a lot of content creators that are, like, kind of, like, going into music also. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I don't know if they're going into music because they really like music or right. if they just, like, trying to get another bag, which is, like, right, right, do right. what you got to do. But I think it's, like, something more to it when the talent is actually there. Mm -hmm. Um, And, like, I remember when I was, like, watching YouTubers, I remember watching, like, Queen and Chris. Mm -hmm. And even when, like, Chris put out a song, I was like, wait, this is actually, like, I'm actually with this. (laughs) And so I love, like, when creators, like, surprise me with their talent. So I honestly would say, like, I was pleasantly surprised with your music. So, what do you have, like, coming up? I know you're going on tour with Journey and Lily. I am. We I love am. Journey. Shout out to Lily. Um, where, what's that going to be about, and how did that start? Um, their team actually hit me up and, like, asked. I, I don't know if I can speak too much on that. Okay. But their team hit me up and asked me if I wanted to join the tour. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah. Like, I never performed before. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting into my music bag, so it's like. Let me, you know, let, let, let me do something different. It's 2024, like, right. I got to start the year off different. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so that's going to be fun. Um, I heard New York is almost sold out. Period. So and New I York can't. shows up and shows out. I so I hope you're ready. I know. I love New York. I think, like, this is really good for you, too, because to me it kind of, like, signifies, like, the newer generation, like, tapping into, like, like I was saying yeah. before, like, a different – um, like a different world. Like you're yeah. getting into music. Mm-hmm. Um, do you listen to any like of the newer generation like content creators' music? No, I don't. No, not really. You don't I'm like not... the dance coming to the cha cha. No. <laughs> 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 no, not that I don't listen to it, or or no, not that I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I don't know. I just don't listen to it. I'm more like honcho, like. Okay. Kind of like real music in a way, you know? Like, I feel like nowadays a lot of people are, like, playing. Mm -hmm. And then it just goes viral. Because you can go viral on TikTok for anything now, you know? So, it's I like the real music, like, where you can feel it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know? Who's your top three artists? I don't have top, I don't have a top three right now. But, um, top is Honcho. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Shout out to Ancho. Um, so like I was saying before with the new generation, I mm-hmm. think it's really interesting to see because like I'm in a generation before you. Right. So it's like we had to like ease our way into social media. Mm-hmm. Like I had to sneak to make my MySpace page. Like it was like a transition to like right. where we are now. Whereas like I feel like with your generation, like y'all were automatically like brought into it. Um, yeah. which I think is beneficial. Like mm-hmm. you started off YouTube at a very young age. Yeah. Um, before you got to YouTube, were you using other social media platforms? Instagram. Oh, Musical.ly. Music. I Ooh, was. Musically I was really big was on Musical.ly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for those that don't know, Musical.ly became TikTok. It's the yeah. same app. It is. Yeah, it's the same app. Yes, Musical.ly is TikTok. I oh, forgot who else came here that I told. I think it was Armand. Yeah, Musical.ly is TikTok. Oh wow. Fun oh, fact. Wow. Learn something new every day. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do learn so something. So you were new. on Musically and yeah. um like did you already have a following at that point or on Musically, yeah. Yeah. Not Instagram. Okay. And that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. So you had a following was because the was already making content? Like, what was that about? Um, no. Not a lot of people even knew that. That was my brother on Musically. I was just doing it a lot. Mm-hmm. And I just gained followers. Were you doing like the yeah, I was. <laughs> I, I was. The it's little so fast just, motion. Yeah. I was doing it too, and I was so much older than you, so <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. Um, so how would you say, like, when you reflect on, like, where you started from Musical.ly, mm-hmm. how has that evolution been? And, like, starting off on the app, then going to YouTube, and now, like, keeping up with every other, like, social media platform. Um, it for sure has been a journey. And you know, it's crazy. I was just thinking about this yesterday. Like my whole life, like I could see the whole transition Mm -hmm. on social media, Mm -hmm. which is crazy to me. Like, dang, like I have old videos. (laughs) People be pulling up old videos of the Musical.ly days. Mm -hmm. Then when me and my brother first started doing YouTube till now, it's like, dang, like, yeah, if I would, if social media never existed, I could never like go back and look at that type of stuff. And that's, like, another, I guess, like, difference. Like, I have, like, physical pictures because we didn't really have another option. But now Mm -hmm. everything is digital. All the pictures are, like, captured digitally, all the videos Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But do you think that's a good thing that you could, like, go back and look? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like there's anything when you look back that you wish, like, maybe you didn't post? Um, Younger? Being younger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, No. No. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I, I was about to it say. Was a, you seen some shit? No, 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 no not um, for you. I'm just saying for myself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. It was it was this um video <laughs> where I was singing in a car. Mm-hmm. And oh my gosh, I think I saw it. <laughs> it was I think bad. I, saw that. <laughs> I thought I saw this joke. <laughs> but you were like cute. You were young. Like that's okay. I was really young. We all have them embarrassing yeah. videos. Oh trust my me. Gosh. So. At that point, like, did you have, like, your version of, like, influencers or content creators that you were watching before? Um, before YouTube? hmm Yes, I was watching Chris and Queen. Okay. Um, Armand. hmm Um, you know, that whole, like, Meek and King. Right, like, I was right. watching all of them, so that kind of motivated me to be like, hey, Deshae, let's do this video. Like, let's, let's do YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I came, I went to him. I was like, let's do the, um... The hot wing challenge. Okay. Where it was like the hottest wings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from Buffalo Wild Wings. So we did it, which is crazy, is we did it. It was funny. Like, it was funny. So I was like, can you edit it for me and post it on my channel? And mm-hmm. he was taking forever. He was taking forever. I was like, can you do it? He was like, yeah, let me do it. He sits down, edits the video. He was like, oh, shit, this is funny. I'm finna put this on my channel. No, he didn't. Yeah. Right. So he took <laughs> he took my video and posted it on his channel, but hey, it made us who you know who we are. Too. So I have to ask you: Is that where like the transition happened with your mom editing your content? Because I heard you like in one of your videos, you're like, "Mom, make sure you edit this." Yeah. Part. So you were like, you know, forget the shame. I'm not just him editing my stuff no more. I will leave it to my mama. No, That's you know it's hate. crazy. I actually didn't have my own YouTube at that point. Like I was just we was just doing it together on his content. I mean, on his page. So then what made you decide to start your own? The supporters. Okay. They were begging me, like, start your own channel, start your own channel. So I started my own channel. Mm-hmm. And around this time, Deshae's, like, grown now. He's never at the house. So mm-hmm. I just, my mom was like, I can edit for you and post and stuff. And that was a nightmare because I would watch my videos. 
And we would get caught like doing fake pranks. Oh no! <laughs> okay, Brooklyn. I'm glad that you said it because sometimes I watch the pranks and I'm like, there's no way. Like after a certain point, <laughs> it's either like I'm never gonna believe anything that you say, or like we in this together and we know we're doing it for entertainment. Right. So that's what it was. It was yeah. like you're doing it for entertainment. Yeah. Do you think that people like really believe that the pranks are real though? The funny thing is, some of the pranks are real. Okay, so it's like a mixed bag. But they don't, like, some of them know, like, it's for content. Mm -hmm. But some of them also be like, hey, I'm going to just watch it. It's mm -hmm. funny. I do. I mean, like yeah. I said, I know it's fake, but I still yeah. think it's entertaining sometimes. <laughs> so um, you had mentioned, like, you were watching, like, Chris and, um, Chris and Queen and mm -hmm. all of them. How does it feel now that, like, you're, like, they, I know they're, like, they're starting families and mm -hmm. well, they have families and all of that. But like, how does it feel to now be in the same space as the people that you were looking up to? Sometimes it doesn't feel real. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I forget who I am. And yeah, I don't know. It, it feels good though. It's a blessing, like and a curse at the same time. <laughs> What's the curse part about it? It's just everybody in your business. Like you don't really have a private life. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because when I was younger and I wanted that, I'm like, bro, I would love not to have a private life. Like, and everybody's just in your business. Because I was like, I had no fan base. I had no nothing. Mm -hmm. I would go live and only, like, one person would join. And I used to want, like, heck of people to join. But now I have a spam that I go live on where it's, like, only a couple people join. And I love that. Shout out to the Finstas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, yeah, and it, it's crazy because how, like, your mindset can change after Mm -hmm. being in the spotlight and stuff. And I think something else that comes from that too is like parasocial relationships where like mm -hmm. people think that they know you just because yep. they've seen so much of your life. Right. And they start to make predictions and mm -hmm. speculations about who you are. Right. To what you said before, like right. people see you making content mm -hmm. with guys and you're automatically like a bop. Uh, right. Or we're automatically dating or something. Right. So... I mean, like, how how do you feel? Like, do you feel a way about, like, when people say stuff like that about no. you? No. Because I know I'm not a bop. Period. You know? So it's like, I know it's content. Mm hmm And then it's like, you all watching it. So, hey, I don't care. Right. Keep giving me the You're money. You're going to get the bag either. Right. Like, you, you know? I know. So it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. I used to when mm -hmm. I was, like, when it first happened. But I'm just like, bro. So if you make content with somebody that you were, like, actually, like, talking to, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like public and people started speculating that y'all were dating. Would you deny it or would you just not say nothing? I would just not say nothing. But I would never do that. Because you would never post like with the guy you're dating? Mm -mm. Or even really? talking to or like, just because of I know what comes with it. And okay. I know like it can mess, the social media can mess up a lot of stuff. Okay. So you said or talk to, so like you wouldn't talk to like a content creator? No, or... I would, I would oh. but maybe not a content creator. No. Yeah, maybe doing something like different, like an actor, rapper. Okay, so still player. industry, but just yeah. not like in the same. Lane. Right, exactly. I feel you. Um, so posting on social media, obviously, like we said, you get that bag regardless <laughs> if it's good or if it's bad. What people are saying. Mm -hmm. What do what do the social media checks look like? Like, is it really like? <laughs> obviously, I'm not gonna po pocket watch and mm -hmm. ask you like how much you're making, but like, what would you say was like your first like biggest check from like social media um 50k that was your first biggest check but that was me and my brother though it was me <laughs> and us but like being 12 years old that's a lot of money oh yeah and we was gonna split it so what that's like 30 that's like what 30, like 25 25, 25 yeah 25 that's like a lot of money so mm -hmm. they're like you can't you can't what? Have all that money at twelve years. I'm still yeah. going to school mm -hmm. and stuff. So I'm like, okay, he gave me a thousand dollars out of that, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm twelve. I'm like, hey, That's a thousand dollars, right? Sure, there's like, grown people that don't even got a thousand dollars. So. Yeah, but um, yeah, that was my biggest. Okay, you know what? One thing about you and Deshay, like, I feel like y'all just like humbly say like. Like, when Deshae showed the Patreon, it was like, it was nothing. And everybody was like, well, damn, if that's nothing. He was like, yeah, and I just cashed out the other day. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, all right. No, so, yeah. I really think, like, that's really good, though, because y'all seem very humble. Right. Which I think is also a reflection of the way that you grew up. Mm -hmm. um, how would you say, like, your family dynamic is? Um, Very, very God 
God fearing. Mm -hmm. And my grandma, she instilled that to, in us. Like my nana, she instilled that into us. Just always be humble, be grateful, no matter what. Like, and just praise God all the time. So it's like, me, that made me never like be comfortable. Like that made me be like, I can never be comfortable because I always have to be grateful. You mm. know, it, it, does that make sense? It makes sense. Am I talking in circles? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Saying what Nana told you. That that that's really our our family dynamic. We're very family oriented. Um, okay. We, <laughs> we're goofy as hell. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're crazy. But um, yeah. That's how I would explain it. Okay. And do you think that it? beneficial that everybody makes content or like in my family yeah oh yeah sure okay and how do y'all choose like what kind of stuff like stays personal and what kind of stuff like goes public um you know my my family's crazy mm -hmm. um i feel like we need to be like that more like what needs to stay personal and what needs to go public mm -hmm. because it's not like that right now but the personal person stuff, of course, we know what to, you know, keep off camera. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it can be a little better. Yeah. So I feel like we don't really know because we, we all really grew up with the camera in our face. So it's like record everything, record everything, record everything. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's, it's okay to not record things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, recently you kind of said that you felt like Deshae didn't have your back in that video when he was talking about, like, your past situation. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like even, like, conversations like that should be, like, discussed first? Or, like, is it just, like, a... Maybe, like, setting boundaries beforehand. Yeah, no, I feel like... Um, I feel like, of course, conversations like that are supposed to be discussed first or just not said at all. Mm -hmm. Just out of the, like... You know, the the um, just protecting the yeah. protecting the brand, protecting the family yeah. dynamic. Exactly, I get it. Yeah. Um, do any other creators like give you advice outside of like your family on like how to move, what kind of content? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course. I know like you're very close with like DG. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I just want to be by the way. Oh, um, this is back a long, long, long time ago. Um, me, I mean, my brother. And DDG was filming content. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I have a sister. And he was like, oh, I have a sister too. Mm -hmm. And they just linked us up and we became best friends. Okay. We had a lot of fallouts, falling, you know. Yeah. But that's how you know, like, that's like my sister though. Mm -hmm. And you could tell. Yeah. Like, in seeing it, you could tell that y'all have a natural chemistry that's yeah. very, like, a sister-like bond. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm going to call you out real quick because I didn't catch it at first, but... The content creators making music, you don't listen to DDG? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it at first, but I'm like, wait, his music, um, his music is I Bob. I, I see DDG more as an artist than a, a content creator now. Okay. And I do listen to some of his music. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie, I do. But when you said that, I didn't think of him because That's fair. I see him more as an artist. Yeah. That's fair. Um, and, of course, I got to ask. Did you know that Hallie was pregnant? <laughs> I mean, of course I knew, but I was. Okay. You know, it's her. You know, it's, they oh, wanted to keep it private, so yeah. As they should. Yeah. But I think that's even more impressive that it lasted. It, it was kept a secret mm -hmm. for so long with right. so many people knowing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I got to give y'all y'all tapes because <laughs> y'all really did that. I haven't seen anything kept in private, like, probably, like, since Kylie when she right. revealed her baby. Even though, like, we had our speculations, mm -hmm. Hallie shut them down. <laughs> and then I feel like all of y'all follow suit. Nobody said anything, mm -hmm. raised any eyebrows. It was just, like, on the need to know, right. which is how it should be. Yeah. Um... So, I have a game mm -hmm. that I want to play with you. Okay. Um, and if it doesn't make sense, honestly, in full transparency, I, like, kind of just made it up. So, you can let me know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. The game is called Brooklyn is Deadass in New York. Pun intended. Oh, that's hard. And okay. it, it's a little messy, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to ask you yes or no questions. And... 
if I feel like you're not telling the truth, I'm going to say, dead ass. Okay. And then if you don't want to answer, you could say, dead ass back. Okay. But you only get three. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, hold on. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just saying no and yes mm -hmm. to your questions. Mm -hmm. And if I don't want to answer, I just say dead, dead you ass. Say, you say dead ass if you think I'm lying. Mm -hmm. And then if I don't want to answer, you say I say dead ass. Mm -hmm. And but I only get three, three dead asses. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. You said it's a little messy? Yeah, it's a little. You'll see. Just say use, a little. Use your dead asses sparingly, but you also don't know what I'm gonna challenge you on, so okay. it could work either way. Come on. All right. Are you talking to anyone right now? No. <laughs> Brooklyn, you're not even making this like you're not making it hard. Dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. If I asked you. To provide me with some context on this note that you just gave, would you? <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. Listen. All right, Brooklyn. Do you know how to cook? Yes. Okay. Would you go 50-50 on a date? No. I believe that. Actually, maybe if I really like you. Like, if you don't have nothing, and I really, really genuinely like you, mm -hmm. and I want this to work, of course I'll go 50-50. So you would date somebody that doesn't have anything? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually, like, very commendable because, you know, a lot of people wouldn't say that these days. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to circle back to that because I have follow-ups. Um, But for the sake of the game, do you have a ghostwriter? A ghostwriter? A ghostwriter. What's that mean? Like, is somebody writing your music for you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can see it in the splits anyway oh. on album music. Okay. Well, shout out to you for being real because yeah. a lot of people will still say no, and even if the splits show otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you let your boyfriend have a girl best friend? Yes, now. Now. The mentality I'm in, I'm in now. Does it matter if they met before or after y'all got together? No, it doesn't matter, but I, I got to know them. Like, I, you know, and I got to fill them out. If I'm like, if they're giving jealous vibes, like, mm -hmm. they want to take my place, no. So you use your discernment in those yes, situations. Okay. I have strong discernment. You kind of answered this already, but have you ever faked anything or lied online for content? Yes. Mm hmm Do you listen to your own music? Yes. More than anyone. Okay. Now, this mysterious no that you mentioned before, <laughs> um, does he live, like, in the same state <laughs> as you? I said no. <laughs> why? I don't believe you. <laughs> Clearly, I don't believe you. And that's why I said that ass. But, um... <laughs> If you don't want to answer, you want to keep it cute, I'm going to let you slide with that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to say I'm gonna say dead ass. That's going to be my second. That's going to be your ass. second. Have you ever had a crush on any of your brother's friends? Yes. Hmm. Presently? No. Okay. Actually, yes. Mm, tea. Mm. Tea. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> um, do you read comments on posts about you? Yeah, sometimes. Mm -hmm. And do you have beef with anyone right now? No. Okay. Okay. Who? No, I'm not, oh. I'm not saying. I'm just like trying to read you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, you actually, like, you kept it real honest. Like, I really like that. Those and are it other wasn't questions? too messy. Yeah. You see, oh, that was, was fun. Like, yeah, it was just like a quick little game. I'm sorry. So, um, being that you're dead ass in New York, um, <laughs> we need to, like, just address, like, the people that have things to say about you on social media. Like, I really don't like how they be trying to call you a liar yeah, and stuff like that. Up. They they do, sis. Um, what do you think about that? Like, do you think it's within reason? <laughs> I feel like everybody lies about something, but the 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 thing that they're saying I'm lying about, mm -hmm. no, I don't agree with it because 
I never really came out and said anything about the situation. Mm -hmm. So, I'm trying to put my words together. Hold on. No, you got it. Um, You're doing amazing, sweetie. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I don't agree with it. I'm just leave it at that. Okay. Um, I think something to consider too is like when you have all of your business out mm -hmm. in public. Like sometimes you do have to kind of protect what's getting out. So. Right. It's like certain things may present themselves as one way, but I think a lot of people don't keep in mind that, like, this is your life. Right. And also, like, not to say it like that, but you're young. So you're right. still, like, learning, Growing, like, how yeah. to handle different situations. And maybe the way that you're handling it isn't what other people may think is the best. Right. But, like, these are things that you learn from as mm -hmm. you move on. So I think the people should just give you a little grace. And and I'm I'm not even asking for grace, you know. I'm just I am. <laughs> Give my girl some grace. <laughs> it's whatever, cause at the end of the day, everything comes to light. Mm -hmm. Whatever's in the dark comes to light. So it's like, even if I gain new supporters and they they like me, like like you said, I'm still growing as a person. I'm only 19. Right. Like I still have more growing to do. So it's like, I took my wrongs, and. Would Bryson Tiller say, I ride my wrongs? I had to ride. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I um, I know my wrongs in certain things, so it's like I take accountability for those, but mm -hmm. certain things I'm not going to take accountability for, mm -hmm. that things I didn't do. And right. that's what a lot of people want me to do. They're like, just take accountability for it. Stop lying. No. Because why would I take accountability for a lie? And then a lie don't care who tell it. Oh, that part. You know? Absolutely. So, yeah. Talk that talk. Okay. So, in thinking about that situation, though, do you think there's anything that you could have done differently or anything that you look back on? Like, maybe I should have, like, handled this a different way. Yes. Bringing anything to the internet, first mm -hmm. of all. Just should have just let whatever was being said be said and not um, talked, talked on the internet okay. about it. Do you think there's anything that you've taken from your relationship that you're bringing into, like, your dating approach in like this year and moving forward? No, I feel like I'm leaving that in the past. I'm just getting to learn people uh -huh. and just, you know, one red flag, you're gone. You're out of here, buddy. <laughs> For real. The red flag is not looking like six flags. Yeah, no. Nope. Like, mm -mm. I feel that. Not even, honestly. even if it's slightly purple. <laughs> you're it's out of no, here. Even if it's purple. <laughs> yes. Oh dang, tough crowd. I don't, yeah. But I love that for you. Cause I'm I, I, I date to marry. Like I don't want to keep being in and out of relationships. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to keep doing that. So like I said in um my song, I don't date simple. I date for a ring. You've also said um if the devil can't get you, he'll send a man. Yes. That's so true. um yeah. I think that uh it, it checks out in what you're saying. <laughs> what you're saying um so when it comes to like branching out and moving forward are you interested in like tv are you interested in like you know there's a lot of like different like reality like the like he does mm -hmm. like the home the girls in the house right. there's influencer city like mm -hmm. are you interested in any of those um not influencer city no but i do i am interested in um yeah, starting my own um, reality show. Not reality show, but um, yeah, I mean, yeah, reality show, my mm -hmm. own series. I also want to start acting. Okay. I feel like um, a lot of people say I have like an animated voice. Mm -hmm. Maybe do a voiceover. Okay. Like tap into everything this year. Yeah. Like, why not? I love that. Um, Influence the city, too messy. Yeah, no, I don't like mess. I don't like drama. It is. It's very yeah. drama filled. And I feel like the people, like, the I'm not the cast. The um what the producer yeah like the workers mm -hmm. they they instigate instigate it yeah mm -hmm. and it just it's a bad look like everybody on that show is like no 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 shade or anything but it's like like I would I I would be keeping it cute yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you were but I fuck with people on that show though but like me personally like. If they would have came to me and be like, hey, Brooklyn, should I be on this show? I would have told them no. Mm -hmm. Just, just like, you don't want your character to look like that. That's what right. I mean by that. Like, you don't want your character to look like a bully or, or a hoe or, mm -hmm. or, you know what I mean? Yeah, because that's something that I see a lot. Like, yeah. I know the internet's favorite word is bot, but, like, 
that's like attached to a lot of the people in like right. that cast, which I don't think always reflects like who they yeah, are as people. No. Um, so you're get, tapping into that the streaming stuff. You've been on you've been streaming a lot. How's that been? Like you've been on the shade stream. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, because like, <laughs> I know you want to say, oh no, I haven't. Mean, how how you like that? Would you tap into like, their I Twitch? I would. I, I do want to, and I'm I'm thinking about getting the setup. For it, okay. But I would for sure. You know, I, like I said, I want to tap into everything. And if stream don't work out, I, you know, try something new. Okay. So now, looking at twenty twenty four overall, mm -hmm. what can we expect from Miss Brooklyn for us this year? Oh, <sighs> y'all are just gonna have to see. Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> no, real, real talk. Because I feel like if I, that's like saying my goals. Like, if I say my goals. It's haters out here that so will think gonna be that will prey on your down. Yeah, so I feel like everything that's in the vault is in the vault, and y'all just gonna see. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna be looking for some music. I'm gonna be looking for your oh stuff like that. Okay, see, Brooklyn, what did you think I was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm thinking you said like what's the what's coming up and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, really like what's coming up? Music. But um no, with music. <laughs> tour. Tour. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, I almost yeah, Sorry. I'm real curious. Um, wait, no, wait. so more music for sure. Like mm -hmm. I'm dropping something this month and I can't wait for y'all to hear it. I'm also dropping my EP next month. I can't wait for y'all to hear that. That's been in the boat for a long time. Like I'm ready for that to drop. Me too. For I'm, real. I'm interested. And you're gonna like my EP. Do you have a name for it yet? The one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because we was talking. One mm. of one. Yeah. And it's like a storyline. Like, <laughs> why I'm the one, basically. I love that. Yeah, so, um, and, um, I'm going to the Grammys. Oh! Is this going to be your first time? It is going to be my first time. Oh, my gosh. Time. That's so exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going, um, like, making content or are you going, like, red carpet? How Red carpet. Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah. And I, I can't wait for y'all to look. The look is going to eat. Yeah, oh, it is. I'm very excited for you. It is. That's really big. Yeah, we're working on the um, fit right now, my stylist. I don't know what color. But, um, yeah, music, content, like, I'm... Trying to up my content, like be more creative with my content, like mm -hmm. even like start a series maybe. Um, y'all gonna see me probably in, like a show. Okay. Um, on Netflix, hopefully. Okay. Um, love that. No, I'm not saying it's coming up, but I'm saying like into existence. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just bigger and better things from Brooklyn, a whole new Brooklyn. Okay, well, I love to see it. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I know you have other Thank things to do, but me. feel free to come back, girl, because it's a lot for us to talk about. I, mean, I definitely will come back. Yes, please. So, yes. like, we got the B Squared thing going on. I got to come back after this year so I can tell you what. Yeah. I got to yeah. come, not after this year, but maybe at the end of the year, like, and touch base like on. A yearly recap. Yes. I like that. Yes. All right. In Brooklyn, I will be writing you down. So don't. <laughs> it's on cameras for the people to see. Don't Y'all gonna see me back here. So do you have anything before we close out that you would like to say to the people that are watching? Anything that you feel like we didn't get to touch on? Um, follow your dreams. Stay consistent. Stay driven. And you know, um, you never really fail. You never really. <laughs> <laughs> racist you got it we are the last stretch like <laughs> come on <laughs> oh Follow your dreams you never really failed if you never tried mm -hmm. and um take risks because risk can lead you into doors and places you never thought you could be able to walk through or be in and i feel like every day is like a risk mm-hmm Cause like just even like with me like going through what I went through like every day was a, like a risk for me to even get back on YouTube like was a big risk. Right. Cause I didn't know views was down, but like I I lost four thousand four thousand subscribers and gained back way more than what I lost. So it's like God is real. Like, and if you're ever going through something, go to God. God is always right there for you. He knows. He knows your path. 
Mm-hmm. And he knows that. Just believe in him. Yeah. Faith. And what's written for you can never be taken away. Yes. Well, wise words from Miss Brooklyn Frost. Yes, Thank I hope you I didn't again. sound um, No, you crazy. didn't. Sure, I was listening like, <laughs> yeah, I could actually take some of this <laughs> for myself. So thank you again for coming. Of Let course, the people know where you. to find you. Um, Instagram, Brooklyn Nicole. Um, Apple Music, Brooklyn Nicole. Spotify, YouTube. No, YouTube, Brooklyn Frost. Mm-hmm. That's it. There is a Brooklyn Nicole YouTube, too, that dropped You Love Me. But it's just like... Oh, that's my music. Um, that's my music page. Okay. Yeah, but my YouTube, my personal page is Brooklyn Frost. Okay, period. So both Brooklyn Nicole, Brooklyn Frost. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Brooklyn. Thank you for I'll having see you me. at the end of the year. I'll see you at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thanks for tuning Bye. in. Bye. Mm, that was T. Want more? Check out our website at www.talkingtotownshow.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.